Anarchism in Africa refers both to purported anarchic political organization of some traditional African societies and to modern anarchist movements in Africa. Anarchic elements in traditional cultures Samimba and Ie Igariwi in African Anarchism, the history of a movement make the claim that the reason why traditional African societies are characterized as possessing anarchic elements is because of their relatively horizontal political structure and, in some cases, the absence of classes. In addition to that, the leadership of elders normally did not extend into the kinds of authoritative structures which characterize the modern state. A strong value was, however, placed on traditional and natural values. So for example, although there were no laws against rape, homicide, and adultery, a person committing those acts would be persecuted together with his or her kin. The principle of collective responsibility was sometimes upheld. Class systems had already existed in some African civilizations such as Nubia, Egypt, Aksum and the Hausa kingdoms for millennia, but processes of social stratification accelerated from the 15th century onwards. <laughs> Modern anarchist movements <laughs> <laughs> Algeria After the 2001 Black Spring in Kabylie, anarchist organizers have been able to create a moderately sized anarchist community in the town of Barbacha. <inaudible> Egypt The anarchist movement first emerged in Egypt in the late 19th century, but collapsed in the 1940s. The movement has re-emerged in the early 2010s. The movement re-entered global view when a number of anarchist groups took part in the 2011 Egyptian Revolution, namely the Egyptian Libertarian Socialist Movement and Black Flag. The Egyptian anarchists have come under attack from the military regime and the Muslim Brotherhood. On October 7, 2011, the Egyptian Libertarian Socialist Movement held their first conference in Cairo. Nigeria. The Nigerian anarchist movement emerged in the early 1990s, with the establishment of the Anarcho-Syndicalist Awareness League. South Africa Anarchism dates back to the 1880s in South Africa, when the English anarchist immigrant Henry Glass settled in Port Elizabeth in the then Cape Colony. Anarchists played a role in the Social Democratic Federation SDF, established in Cape Town in 1904 and open to socialists of all persuasions. The first specifically anarchist organizations was the Revolutionary Syndicalist International Socialist League founded in Johannesburg in 1915. It went on to establish branches across much of South Africa, excluding the Western Cape where the anarchists split from the SDF to form the Industrial Socialist League by mutual agreement, the INDSL operated in the Western Cape, while the ISL operated in the rest of the country. The INDSL and the ISL would go on to organize the first trade union among workers of color in South Africa, the Industrial Workers of Africa IWA, modeled on the Industrial Workers of the World IWW. Swept up in the atmosphere created by what at the time appeared to be a victorious worker revolution in Russia in 1917, the ISL and the INDSL dissolved into the Communist Party of South Africa CPSA at the latter's founding in 1921, providing many notable early figures until the Comintern ordered the expulsion of the syndicalist faction in the party. Unaligned syndicalists like Percy Fisher were active in the miners' 1922 Rand Rebellion, a general strike turned insurrection, and strongly opposed the racism of a large sector of the white strikers. The IWA meanwhile merged into the Industrial and Commercial Workers' Union in 1920, one reason the ICU exhibited syndicalist influence. The anarchist movement in South Africa only re-emerged in the early 1990s with the establishment of small anarchist collectives in Durban and Johannesburg. The Anarchist Revolutionary Movement Arm was founded in 1993. It was succeeded by the more tightly organized Workers' Solidarity Federation in 1995. As opposed to the looser arm, the WSF was in the tradition of platformism. In 1999, for a range of reasons, the WSF dissolved. 
It was succeeded by the Bakisha Media Collective BMC and Zabalaza Books. These two books co-produced Zabalaza, a journal of Southern African revolutionary anarchism and were active in the Anti-Privatization Forum. In 2003, the platformist Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Federation ZACF, or ZABFED was founded, drawing in the BMC and Zabalaza books whose Zabalaza journal became the journal of the ZACF as well as a number of other collectives that had been set up in Soweto and Johannesburg, including a local chapter of the anarchist Black Cross. In 2007, in order to strengthen its structures, ZABFED reconstituted itself as the Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Front ZACF, or ZABFront. The new ZACF is a unitary federation of individuals, as opposed to a federation of collectives like ZABFED, and has recently also come under the influence of Especifismo, a tendency which originated within the Federación Anarquista Uruguaya or Uruguayan Anarchist Federation. While committed to promoting syndicalism in the unions, ZACF work was in practice largely focused on the so-called new social movements, formed in South Africa in response to the perceived failures of the African National Congress government post-apartheid. The ZACF was involved in the campaigns of the Anti-Privatization Forum and the Landless People's Movement it has also been involved in solidarity work with Abilali Basemyandolo and the Western Cape anti-eviction campaign. In addition to such work, the ZACF is active in organizing workshops and propaganda. Topic Anarchist organizations in Africa International Socialist League South Africa 1915 to 1921 Industrial Workers of Africa South Africa 1917 to 1920 Industrial Socialist League South Africa 1918 to 1921 Awareness League Nigeria 1990s present Anarchist Revolutionary Movement South Africa 1993 to 1995 Workers Solidarity Federation Southern Africa 1995 to 19 1999 Bakisha Media Collective South Africa 1999 to 2007 Zabalaza Books South Africa 1999 to 2007 South African Chapter of the Anarchist Black Cross 2002 to 2007 Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Federation Southern Africa 2003 to 2007 Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Front Southern Africa 2007 Present Black Flag Egypt 2010s Present Libertarian Socialist Movement Egypt 2011 present topic see also black anarchism politics of africa topic references topic further reading anarchism and revolutionary syndicalism in south africa 1904 to 1921 by lucian van der walt military dictatorship and the state in africa by sam mba and ie igarui an anarchist critique of the african military dictatorship African Anarchism: The History of a Movement by Sam Mba and IE Igarui. 1. Topic external links African Anarchism: Freedom and Revolution in Africa and Irish Anarchist in Africa an introduction to today's Western Africa from anarchist perspective. Towards a vibrant and broad African-based anarchism anarchism in Africa an interview with Michael Schmidt and Lucian van der Walt.